Hi, this is George Cow, and here I am at an Airbnb. I'm taking a week off. I do a, a one-week break for every six weeks of work um, to renew myself, to think, to plan. Uh, and I just want to show you a couple of couple of things here. Uh, there's there's the dog from the Airbnb, a Vishla, very cute dog. And they also have something cool over here. They've got chickens. <laughs> and uh, there's, as always, there's my little dog buddy. You can see uh, him right there. So today I want to take uh, just a few minutes to talk with you about habits. I saw a quote today from Confucius that says, People's natures are alike. It is their habits that separate them. So if you want to have a different life, different outcomes, different lifestyle, you need to have different habits. If you want to have a more successful life, you need to have more successful habits. If you want to have a completely different life, you need to have completely different habits. Now, the thing about habits is that um, they take a long time to change. And they, unfortunately, good habits are, are very easy and quick to break. And so you need to keep them up. Just like, you know, when you, um, a couple of good metaphors is, you know, you don't just take one shower and you're good for the rest of the year. You take a shower every day to keep clean. Same thing with habits. You have to keep, keep it up. And another good metaphor, I think, is vitamins. You don't just take vitamins once and then you're done for the rest of your life. You keep taking vitamins or supplements or, or simply, you know, eating very nutritious whole foods. Speaking of which, um, they have a really cool thing here. I've never seen this before, but... That's this is a pomegranate tree, isn't that neat? Anyway, so I want to encourage you to develop your habits bit by bit. Okay, so here's the thing: um, unless you change your your environment completely, uh, it's hard to change a bunch of habits at once. But if you're going to be, of course, most of us aren't going to be moving all the time. We're living in the same place um, day after day. And so you need to change your habits one at a time, probably one at a time, maybe two or three at a time. But just really realize that every time you're changing a habit, you're unsettling the equilibrium of your life. And it takes willpower. It takes energy more than you realize to keep on, 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 on changing that equilibrium until that action or thought becomes a habit. Okay? And so there are habits of thought and there are habits of action. And... In the notes to this video, I will include a, a, a long list of habits of thought that you can consider. What I like to use is what I call a habit waiting list, a habits waiting list. So this is basically, I have lots of uh, habits I'd love to develop in my life, but I know that I can't do them all at once. That would be foolish, okay? So I do, I do them one at a time. Actually, I do them three at a time. But I just keep, keep a log, a daily success log every single day. Did I do this habit? Did I, um, how did I do? What, what's one thing I can improve on for this habit? And so until I, I create it into, until I habituate it, until it becomes normal and natural to then add on another one, two, or three habits. But always keep coming back, of course, to the original habits that you try to create and see how that's going. Because just like vitamins, you've got to keep taking them, okay? So I hope this is helpful. And until the next video, I wish you well.